Hello again, this is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And it's about 90 degrees outside, and this is a 12 by 24 canvas. The second one that I'm going to do ring pours on. I just did a caterpillar on my other one. I'm going to move this out of here in a sec and see what's left of the colors. My containers that I put tape on the lip, and it did not work for me. And I am hoping that I can add, in spite of the fact that it did not work for me, I'm still going to use them again. And if I add enough paint, to this mix, maybe, just maybe, I will be able to do exactly the same thing I just did. I'm going to try and put some white in between some of these colors. Where is a different color? There it is. That's what I'm looking for right there. I love this new color I just made from Art Minds. I, uh, I took their purple, their light purple, and uh, added a little bit of golden magenta. It's an expensive fix, but um, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice fix, too. Doesn't take much. Oh, please be open. Thank you. <laughs> hey, sometimes they're bound to listen, right? I want some forest green. And it's in a bottle. That's actually more turquoise than forest green. I don't think that's the color I was looking for at all. Wait, I know where it is. Here it is. Maybe I can use it still. It's very similar to the other color. Okay. Never mind. I'm going to throw a little, do I want, I don't want magenta next to, <laughs> next to green actually, although it might be kind of cool. Okay, those look good. And what do I want to do over here? Something similar, but not exactly the same. I want more of that Prussian blue. I didn't put any of that white in there and I needed to do that. And maybe some of this red. Maybe. That's magenta. Less red, more magenta. And yes, I'm going to take a chance and go ahead and throw some other colors in there, which may or may not work. But I'll make it work. I will, I will. I'll find a way. All right, so here comes the canvas. In spite of my tape not working, I will figure out how to make this work. For the last time, I lined mine with black on the edges once I tipped them. I'm going to put my glasses on, hoping there are no more little tiny, tiny filament-sized red spiders. don't really mind how these are. I can always pour a puddle in the middle. I do mind doing that. I don't really want to drip everywhere, but I guess so long as it's down the center, it's not really a problem. That tape being on there makes it a lot less likely that I'll be able to get all of my paint out there. So instead of trying to use my Princeton Catalyst spatulas, wait, number ones are best, um, <laughs> I will probably just use my finger again. So as much as I like that pink, I'm going to give myself permission for some more orange. I'm expecting to put gold on the outside of this this time. Let's see, where can I make that fall out of? Ah, two for the price of one. We're getting double rings. It does just make me want to pour some other colors in there, like more orange. Now I did pour a little bit of black around my rings last time, and I am just going to let myself have permission to use up all my paint. I don't know how many rings this is, I'll have to count to see. That tape trick. i got to find a new trick, because I want to be able to pour out of my ring pour cups. The paint will flow to paint. I'm going to throw these, whether I like it or not, right into my bucket because otherwise I'll have a mess I can't deal with. All right, so let's see what else I want to put in here if there's anything else. I have some really pretty blue that I did not use. It's 
the color shift blue. Will it even come out? I did leave my colors outside in the heat and I did say it was almost a 90 degree day. I had to go in and unload the, uh, the movie off the camera. Please open. Okay, you're not going to open, but I want you anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to have you. I'm just going to pour it right out. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I can do that. Carefully, maybe, cautiously, somewhat. Ah, irreverently, probably. I'm loving this new color, and I'm pretty happy about using it. Whoops. Right over the edge. Alright, so, last time, I threatened an edge catcher, and I really didn't use one much. I have enough paint in that blue container, so I want to seal it up. Do I have anything else that I really feel I must allow myself the pleasure of adding? It'd be nice if I'd stop <laughs> getting little lumps of things. I don't really have any yellow in here, and um, I'm not sure whether that's a good idea or not, but I think I'm going to find out the hard way or the easy way, whatever way you want to describe it. I am going to grab an edge catcher. I want to just tip this, just righteously tip it all over the place and see what happens, see where everything runs. But I'm still so tempted. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to have to give it. I'm going to have to give an experiment, let an experiment occur. Because I put these things on my last one. The paint is obviously going to be a lot warmer than it was last time. I could blow that right in there, I think. Because I can. The name of my book on my Amazon link. What else? Do I want to put anything else in there? I do kind of want to just keep righteously playing. Now, I did mention that the gold mica powder mix. The gold mica powder is on my Amazon link, but the mix is probably very liquidous today. And I'm just having too much fun. My plan, whatever the plan was I had, it's gone now. I'm just having fun. Putting colors wherever I want. I want some black and maybe some gold up here. Yes, I'm enjoying composing actually. So I guess I will just do it some more. Do what feels right. And I won't be doing any more paintings today. What did I do last time? I led them down right into the artwork. I do. I just want to do a crazy edge where I mix up all the paint. Yes. And I want to do it before a tip. It may destroy it, or I may just be so compelled to keep it that I can't control myself. <laughs> no, you're right. I don't know what I'm doing, but I am experimenting and I'm having a good time playing. Oop, wrong end. Use the pointy end of that skewer, you'll know it pretty quick. Alright, I want all that to come over here. Play with some white pearl in one of these. This is my experiment. I can't help it. 
That is a turquoise color shift from Folk Art. That's cool. I like that. The caterpillar has legs. Or whatever it is. It's an alien bug landing. And I can just do this over here. I should give it a head and some eyes. <laughs> or I should just have fun making art. <laughs> that makes no sense at all to anyone but me. And that's what you should do, do. I recommend fun. I've recommended it before. I'm probably not going to stop recommending it anytime soon. I got five minutes left and I'm still having a good time. Not only am I having a good time, I'm thinking I might just give myself permission to add a few more things that would be considered slightly unusual. Especially color-wise. But that makes such nice little hearts when you drag your skewer through. Yes, I know, it doesn't make much sense, but that's okay. It doesn't really have to, it's abstract art after all. We've got some incredible cells down the southern end. And I like that turquoise. I really haven't tipped this very far yet, but I'm, I'm loving the, I don't know, and I might ruin it if I do, so. Ooh, that turquoise and the black is fabulous together. Makes really neat patterns. I don't know if you can see that or not. I kind of think that uh, that color, that color shift turquoise from folk art makes fabulous patterns mixed with anything. It just that's what it does. Yeah, I'm just kind of losing it and having a good time. I wanted to do dots last time, and I didn't do it because I already had enough going on. But being that I can steal paint from anywhere I want, and I've got nice fresh paint, I think the best thing about this is the fact that you put those rings down there. If you don't take too long doing it, even though it's hot out here, I still have a pretty good shot of uh, getting some cool stuff to happen without my paint drying out including spiraling things. I really did want to dot things. This is much cooler with the dots. I like them. Every time I spiral my, my skewer around, I pick up enough paint to maybe add a few more dots. I didn't expect that to be blue. But that's okay. I do, I like the the bright orange with the purple is pretty cool. It's, it reminds me of a fuchsia plant somehow, although that's not the exact colors. I think I want to just keep leading the eye a few places. I didn't add the gold like I said I was going to, but it's not too late. Ha! And I, I can still do that in a few places. I like combining the black with it, so that's a totally on purpose thing. And I like that okay, so I'll just add some more and use my residuals to go over the edge. I 
I guess the mica gold is still working quite nicely. I don't know what this is. It's an alien life form for sure. <laughs> It's a fun alien life form for sure. Yes, I'm having a good time. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me. It won't be long now and I'll have to tell you stuff. And uh, stuff I want to tell you is that I have a book called Because I Can and it's on the Amazon link below the video along with my paint pouring recipe. And if you don't, if you can't get any of that information and you want some, please just ask me. I've got all the links saved and I will be happy to give you as much information as you need when I have the time to do so. And I will do that fairly frequently. So don't worry about it, just ask. And um, if anybody is looking for the wet and dry artworks, I, I posted them all on Facebook but they are in a group called Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation. Uh, excuse me, fans and collectors, my mistake. Um, the appreciation group is where everybody who appreciates Expressionist Art Studio Gallery YouTube videos goes to share their artwork and talk about stuff when they need to know. Hey, that was pretty good timing. So what else? I do sell my artwork, so if you're interested in any of it, we can, uh, we can talk through YouTube, and I will get back to you with an email address, and you can contact me, and we'll have a chat about whatever you want. There is, uh, there is usually, uh, uh, there is 99.99% .99 of the time, there is a file number of the photograph that's in the YouTube video at the end of the title. Which reminds me, on my end screens you can find over 500, whoops, <laughs> you can find over 500 videos of mine on the playlist. If you want to be of assistance to me, there's a couple of ways to do it. One is you can contribute through PayPal or Patreon to the studio. That'll get you into a contest every month where I donate some artworks to people who have donated to me. And the other way is by watching more of the videos, because the algorithm on YouTube only knows what it knows and it only knows whether you like my videos by giving me a thumbs up or if you watch more of the video it knows that too so ooh that was pretty I like that you're gonna be gone in a minute and hopefully I will have told you everything that I need to tell you and uh, I might be dropping a little more gold in a few places because I can the name of my book on the Amazon link that you do want to check out what have I forgotten I have Pinterest and Instagram at the bottom of the video um, I do I do sell my artwork. I think I said that. I give classes at the house in Spring Hill and uh, on my Facebook pages I have pixels.com and Fine Art America where I have been posting my digital and other types of artwork, pen and inks and watercolors and you name it, it's there. Um, and it's all available as cool stuff. Even if you weren't going to buy cool stuff, it's a still a pretty cool place to look. You just have to look for the shop now button there and you'll find it. I'm pretty happy with all of this. Thank you guys for all the great comments. I appreciate you joining me. There's probably 60,000 of you by now. I was at, <laughs> I was at 50, 59,555 when I came in from outside. So um, I'm assuming that this is going to be fairly in the distant future when I post this. And uh, it'll probably be a little bit changed, but not that much. Because I just found that I have one whole end I've been ignoring, and I'm not going to ignore it anymore. I love you guys. I hope to see you again soon. Take care. You're going to be gone. And I'm going to torch to make sure that I get rid of any bubbles in the paint. And I might increase a pattern or two, but it's in the 90s out here today, so... I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now. Priscilla in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Studio Gallery in the backyard saying I love you again.